In Surah Al-Qalam, one of the things that Allah says is that the Prophet وسلم, is on superior character. He has superior character, morals, ethics, all these sorts of things. Allah says, وَإِنَّكَ لَا عَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ And that means that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is our standard. He is the criteria, the model, by which we try to conform and that we also judge ourselves and take account of ourselves. These days, we have a problem. You know, when it comes to the modern era, there's sort of like a playbook when it comes to modernists and, and progressives and people who who want to change Islam from the inside. Here's how it works. They'll take a general concept that Islam supports, such as mercy, such as justice, such as compassion. And then they're going to reinterpret this concept according to modern sensibilities of what that means. And then they're going to project it back and say, well, this is always what Islam has said. Islam has always said this thing, that this is what mercy is. This is what modesty is. Islam has always been saying the same thing. That's not necessarily true. Our ideas of justice and modern ideas of justice are somewhat different, right? modern sort of sense of justice you know we put somebody in jail and we throw the way we throw away the key for decades and we take them away from their families and they you know all these sorts of problems as opposed to giving someone a punishment and then you're done with it go back to your family right that's kind of the islamic way and we could go on with different sorts of examples but the idea is here the Prophet وسلم, was the most merciful person in the world the mercy to the creation and he did certain things that maybe modern sensibilities would would be embarrassed to admit or 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 would bristle at. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that he's the standard. The modern standard is not the standard. We don't go back and selectively, you know, we worry about people leaving Islam and, and that's bad. Yeah, we are worried about it. But more dangerous than that is people selectively mining our tradition and changing it from the inside. People reinterpreting our tradition just to make it the same as what certain people now, certain ideologies already subscribe to, right? That's not the way. The way is actually to look towards the past, look towards the Quran, look towards the Sunnah, and to assess the modern world and to say, where does it fall short? And how can we change ourselves to be in comportment with that example?